Right. Okay. Question number five. Uh, it tells us the height and width of TVs in the ratio of nine to sixteen. So if you think about a widescreen TV, uh, it's wider than it is tall. So it's nine wide. Sorry, nine tall, nine high, sixteen wide. So we just kind of I'm just confused matters a little bit about the height going across the bottom and the width going up the side. But okay, it just follows that, that rule here. We need to use this information to draw a graph to show the relationship between the height and the width of values of x from 20 to 80. So what I did is, first of all, I had a look at my scale and I saw that the x values go 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And then so each little square is one going along here. Then up the side, I saw that it went 20, 40, 60, 80. So each little square is not worth one, it's worth two. So um, it just means that the values of 30, 40, uh, 30, 50, 70, and so on are in between. So each little square is worth two going up, each little square is going worth one going along. So we're just going to keep that in mind. And what I did for, I just worked out a little table of x and y and when x was 20 I want to work out how high our, um, how high we've got to go for the y okay so what we're going to do it's got to be um, wider than it is tall so we've got to work out how high we've got to go up on our graph it's going to be wider than it's tall so I'm going to divide by the 9 and times by the 16 that so dividing by a number times by a bigger number means the answer is going to get bigger. So just using a calculator, uh, I'm just going to pop it in here. I did 20 divided by 9 times by 16, and it came out with about 35.5. 35.5, well actually 5 by 5, so rounded is 35.6. So on our graph probably 36 is probably the closest we're going to get. If I do the same 30, 30 divided by 9 times 16, I'll get uh, a width for a height of uh, height of 30, I'm going to get a width of 53 degrees. Check this in your calculator. Hold on, the computer's just got a little glitchy, as you can tell. Oh, come on, you can do it, computer. Wow. 53.3, and I'm going to keep doing this. Divide by 9. Oh, come on, computer. Divide by 9. Oh, it's getting a little bit painful. And then times by. Let's try again. And then times by 16. Okay, so 40 divided by 9 times by 16 is 71.1 71 .1, 71 .1, 50 60 70 50 divided by 9 50 divided by 9 times by 16 50 divided by 9 times by 16 just kept it wrong 88.9 rounded 88.9 9, 60 divided by 9 times by 16, 106.7, 70 divided by 16 times by 9, oh, wrong way around, uh, 70 divided by 9 times by 16 is 124.4, 124.4. So now I've just got to plot these on my graph. So at 20, I need to go up to 35, probably the easiest thing is 36. So up to 30, and then one, two, three little squares from there. Uh, and then at 30, I've got to go up to 53. 30, I've got to go up to 50. 53 is just between 52 and 54. 40 to 71. 40 to 
to 71. Uh, 50 goes to 88, 89, 50 goes to 89, so 50 that's 82, 4, 6, 8, almost on 90, uh, 60 goes to 107, 60, go up to 100, 2, 4, 6, 107, and 70 goes up to 124. So there's 120, 120, 124. Okay, so I'm just going to get a straight line and then I'm just going to join that up. So let's just join that up. And then hopefully we'll put all of these in a nice straight line if I've plotted it right. So there is another way you can do it. You can think of the gradient. You can think of the gradient as, remember, it's the change in y the change in x. So we know that the width is going to be 16. It's going to go up 16 for every 9 it goes along. So you could count uh, 9 along 16 up, 9 along 16 up. But that becomes a bit trickier because it means you're going to count using the scale going along. So I like this idea of just converting between x and y. Now it says, the TV has a width of 90, use a graph to estimate. Well, we can see this one's quite close, so we think it's going to be close to about 50. For a height of 90, we think the width, so the width of width of 90 is going to be a height of 50, we think close. Let's have a look at our graph, just to check. And let's just... It on so we're 90, 90 is exactly here. Let's read along until we hit and then let's let's read down and I make it using that I make it from there. So I make that 51 because remember each square on the bottom is one. So a width of 90 has a height of 51 centimeters. You've got to read it exactly. If your graph, use a ruler to draw the lines. Um, but the answer, whatever you put in your graph, you've got to write the answer down here. 